Hi, I'm Mike from 710 Diagnostics. I'm just here uh, today to explain a few of the differences between the Picoscope automotive tool oscilloscope. That's this one here. This is the 4425. Uh, it's about a $1,600 tool. Uh, awesome tool. A lot of um, OE manufacturers use those in their service departments. It is an amazing tool. It really is. Uh, there's probably nothing like it on the market that holds a candle to it as far as power and capability. There's a few different options out there, but the Pico is the industry standard for a reason. It really is one of the best tools on the market. Uh, another good tool, another tool in the same class as the Pico is the ATS uh, scopes, which are also amazing scopes. But uh, today what I want to do is explain to you the key differences between a Pico scope and the MT Pro 4, which is this tool here. This is an eight channel oscilloscope. It uh, retails for around $400. I think it's 370 if I remember right. But uh, the main differences between these tools, other than the cost, is the sampling rate and what you have to do in order to make the thing work. So the PicoScope is made for users that don't necessarily need to know all of the fundamentals of how an oscilloscope works uh, or, you know, it really does a lot for you. Uh, I guess is the right way to say it. Uh, so you don't need to, essentially, you don't need to know all the fundamentals behind it. You don't need to know how to optimize your sample rate. And uh, because of that, it's a really efficient tool to take somebody that understands electricity and electrical circuit testing, put this in their hands, and in a few hours, they can be a fairly efficient user of this tool and get it to do what they need to do to be able to complete the tasks they need to do. This tool is not so much. This tool, you really have to understand a lot more of the fundamentals in order to use it properly, efficiently, and effectively. Uh, but the advantage to that, other than this is way, way less costly, is not only can you afford to buy it, this is more of a shop tool. I would expect a shop owner to be willing to spend the money to make sure their shop has one of these available for their technicians to use. This is a tool that I think every technician that works in the field on electric, electrical anything. So if you're dealing with the electrical part of any car, I feel you could benefit from the MT Pro 4. And they're reasonably affordable. They're less than $400. Uh, and I, I'm not getting paid to, to promote this tool. I just think it's awesome. And uh, I find it efficient and effective to use. But you do have to put in a little more effort and like all professional tools, do require some training, whether that's self-study or you're paying somebody to train you how to use it. Uh, either way, you'll see it, an extreme benefit from owning this tool. It's extremely valuable. Not only is the input threshold quite a bit higher than the Pico scope, so you don't need to use attenuators for high voltage signals. You can, uh, you have eight channels at your disposal instead of four. Uh, and they do make an eight channel Pico scope, but uh, I believe those are around $3,000. So they're, they're definitely not a cheap option. But this tool, will make you a better technician if you take the time to learn how to use it efficiently and effectively. And it's very, very flat rate friendly. When uh, over the last six months, I've done 90% of my oscilloscope diagnosing with the MT Pro. Uh, if I didn't find it as efficient or more efficient to use in the Pico, I wouldn't use it. But when I'm working production, I just want to get these cars fixed. I don't care what I'm using to do it. Uh, my main goal is I need a tool that will perform the task that I need to perform at any given time to get the answers I need to continue with my diagnosing or problem solving. Uh, and both these tools will do that effectively and efficiently. I just find that the MT Pro is a little bit more efficient 
uh, once you take the time to learn how to use it. But I find it's more efficient in the bay. The Pico is an awesome analysis tool, but I find that the MT Pro, uh, even though it does have some shortcomings, in the bay, doing the work every day, I find that the MT Pro is more efficient, uh, makes it easier for running gun analysis, and uh, you, can, you can record a file, save a file, do the analysis, and move on with your day that quickly. It's, it's literally just a matter of a few button clicks, you get what you need out in front of you, you make a decision, and you move on. And the Pico works just as well, I just find that maybe it takes a few more clicks here and there. Uh, and because of that, I haven't really switched back to the Pico. I use it when I need it for certain situations, but it's very rare. Uh, only when I'm dealing with like high-speed signals or high-speed networks, which again, I don't need a whole lot. Uh, most of what you're doing when you're working on an automobile is engine speed signals and things of that nature, which are generally way slower than where you would need 20 million samples per second. Uh, the MT Pro will do 6 million samples per second, which is plenty fast enough, even at a million samples per second, is plenty fast enough for a uh, general high-speed cam. Uh, some of the more, the more modern systems, you may need to step up to the Pico in order to get a usable signal. Uh, but I generally don't do a whole lot of network scoping, and all the network stuff that I've done, the MT Pro has been plenty capable. Uh, but, like I said, my, the main reason I want to promote this tool is I feel it will raise the electrical IQ of all the technicians in the U.S. and in North America that are using these things. If you get one of these and use it for six months, it will exponentially increase your understanding of the fundamentals and make you a better technician because of it. Uh, I really, I really do believe that. And uh, I... Uh, once you get into it, you'll, you'll understand that there are some analysis tests in there that are just amazing, but they do require very precise procedures and very careful setup in order to get repeatable, usable results. And uh, that's something I'm going to cover in a future webinar, uh, and uh, I'll probably make that available uh, sometime early next year or late this year yet. Uh, I'm recording this uh, about the middle of November right now, uh, 2024. So uh, this tool really, really is amazing. Uh, I, I've been super impressed with it, especially for the price point. Uh, the software feels old, uh, and it is. I, I'm not sure when they wrote it, but it would be probably sometime in the early 2000s. And, uh, but because it's old, it's also very efficient. It's not very resource hungry. I can run that software. On, the software for the MT Pro, you can run on just about any computer, any Windows computer. The, uh, the Pico software, especially Pico 7, is pretty resource heavy. So you're gonna need a pretty decent setup in order to run Pico 7 efficiently. Uh, so, you know, the Pico is the best of the best. I'm not trying to knock it. It's an awesome tool, very capable. Uh, you know, by far, you know, there's a reason it's the industry standard. But I, I do think that more technicians are going to have to step up and take responsibility for their knowledge, their training, and their skill. And if that's something that you take seriously, I recommend picking up one of these and, and learning how to use it. Uh, I think you'll see a huge benefit. I know I have, uh, and like I said, I use the heck out of it uh, probably at least a couple times a day. It, it really is an awesome tool. If it broke, I would uh, be buying another one. In fact, it's cheap enough. I'm going to pick up a spare just to have on the shelf just in case it does break. Uh, but uh, that being said, I kind of want to go over my thought process on why it's so necessary. As complicated as these vehicles are getting today, there are more and more examples of where you just need an oscilloscope in order to diagnose them efficiently and effectively. Uh, you know, that's not always the case. I would say right now that's maybe 5% of cars I work on. You really need an oscilloscope in order to figure it out. But the knowledge and fundamental understanding that you gain by using an oscilloscope will 
increase the effectiveness of all your other diagnostic tests, including using a multimeter and using a test light. Once you really understand how you're manipulating the power in a circuit or the voltage in a circuit and how, you're, how you are affecting things while testing them, once you get a good grasp on that, it will exponentially increase your understanding and efficiency because what looks like an erroneous measurement or a measurement that you may not understand or a measurement that just confuses you so you have to go somewhere else and do a different measurement or measure that in some other way, once you get a better grasp of the fundamentals, you'll be able to take that measurement and where it would previously be confusing, you're going to take that measurement and go, ah, I know exactly what I'm going to see when I hook up the oscilloscope now. Whether it's a test light that's flashing really quickly or a dim test light or you've got a 12 volt circuit but you're only measuring 7 volts on it. Uh, you know, all these little things. Or maybe you have a ground circuit that you're measuring 50 millivolts on. Is that okay? Well, I don't know. You know, depends on the circuit. But again, these little itty bitty details that seem insignificant when you're using a multimeter uh, or a test light and you're not necessarily fully grasping what's happening in that circuit, using an oscilloscope regularly, you will start to grasp all these little things like, whoa, you know, a ground circuit that's got current flow flowing on it isn't going to read zero volts at the component because we know there is some resistance in that ground. So if I'm measuring a ground circuit with my oscilloscope, and it reads 100 millivolts, is that okay? Well, I don't know, it depends on what you're running, right? Uh, but again, it's important to understand all these things, so you may be able to quickly pick up an open where you would normally be doing end-to-end -end testing to find that. Or maybe you would quickly pick up a high resistance point where, again, you'd normally be doing voltage drop testing to try to figure out. So, you know, just using something that challenges your understanding, like the MT Pro, uh, or an oscilloscope in general, that will challenge your understanding, will help expand the fundamental understanding that you have of how these things work. So when you get a reading that you maybe don't expect, you'll understand why you're seeing that. And that is a huge time saver, especially on a complicated com complex piece of equipment that has wires everywhere and nothing's accessible and everything's buried so it's an hour and a half to get to any connector any component anything like that if you can do non-invasive testing from a fuse from you know a ground point from all these different locations and then infer the idea of what may be going on in that circuit if you get a good grasp of it you can really save a ton of time but you know that takes a lot of time and effort that takes a lot of practice and you don't have to do the, you know 20 hours a week of practice I spend uh, about two hours a week I'm pretty aggressive about it but I spend a couple hours a week uh, practicing uh, whether I'm practicing uh, on the solder station I'll set up my microscope and uh, work on circuit boards you know, do stuff like this and just take components off these scrap boards and put them back on. Uh, or I might pull in my car and get uh, a secondary ignition capture and then uh, unplug an injector and see what that looks like. Or uh, just do some basic testing or maybe I'll have a customer car sitting in a bay and I don't have a cam crank waveform on that vehicle in my library. Well, why not practice obtaining that signal without doing any damage to the vehicle. You know, that takes practice. So whether you're just obtaining the signal, uh, recording it and saving it for later, but you, it requires a certain amount of practice. You're not going to get that if you just go to work and go home every day. So in order to develop these skills and use the fundamentals in the most effective way, you know, you're going to have to put in a little bit of time with this tool but it's going to pay off huge. Uh, I promise if you put an hour a week into practicing with this MT Pro, you will be way, way better off as far as understanding and a fundamental grasp of what you're doing in six months 
at just an hour a week than you are right now. Uh, and that's what we need. We need that across the industry. Uh, I see it everywhere. All the, te the top technicians that I talk to, the best diagnostic guys that I talk to will all tell you 99% of the time the fundamentals fix the car and when these cars get bounced around from shop to shop to shop and they don't get fixed, the guy that fixes them, the only advantage he has is a better understanding of the fundamentals. Uh, so I, I hope this video kind of enlightens you to understand kind of my thought process, how I got here, how I understand this stuff, why I understand this stuff, because I really work hard that if I run into something I don't know, the the next week that you know when I sit down for those two hours of practice that's what I'm working on I'm working on what I don't know and you know that's you have to be able to assess yourself harshly and, and be willing to say hey I didn't know that or maybe I misunderstood that I thought I knew something turns out I didn't uh, which I probably do every week uh, you know I don't I don't know as much as I think I know and every time I think I do I, uh, I get proven wrong. So I, you know, I really put a lot of effort in to be able to know how to do this stuff and be able to understand the fundamentals on the level I do in order to do this efficiently and effectively. And, uh, and it's not magic, you can do it too. Uh, and like I said, tools like this, or even tools like this, if you have access to a Pico scope, use the thing. It is awesome and it will help you become a better technician. The biggest advantage you have with the uh, with any oscilloscope is the fact that you can capture a waveform and save it for later. So you can capture it, make notes, save it for later, so then when you do have time, because during production you don't have time, you're just trying to fix the car, but later when you do have time, or on a day off where you have the time and energy to spend maybe an hour looking over that waveform, analyzing it, and trying to understand it a little better, that's gonna pay off huge the next time you run into a similar problem. Um, so I hope this helps. Uh, I know this isn't what you're, what you're used to getting from me and uh, I really don't care to be on this side of the camera, but uh, I, uh, I feel it's necessary to explain some of my thought process. Uh, and I, I've got this quote from Socrates, or this note from Socrates on here, if Socrates was a tool, uh, because the I'm a big believer in the uh, Socratic method, which is, you know, question everything all the time, especially what you think you know, uh, is basically what it boils down to. It's a little bit more technical than that, but the basis of it is question everything you know all the time. If you can't prove that you know something, maybe you don't know it as well as you think you do. Uh, and I know that's the case for me. I, uh, I, have to uh, I have to analyze that all the time and make adjustments on my knowledge and understanding as I run into things that maybe I don't understand or I haven't looked at from that perspective before. Uh, so anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Get out there, fix some cars, do some practice, and uh, I'll make sure that I make it available and uh, you know do plenty of advertising around this when, uh, when I am ready to present some more information on the MT Pro. Otherwise, a lot of the videos you're gonna see in the future on the MT Pro will be uh, just me using it in the bay, fixing cars, diagnosing cars, and uh, hopefully you guys get, get one of these in your hands, and uh, I really know it will help you uh, develop your skill and your understanding way past where it is today. So, have a good one, thanks.